I shall explain to you. Not going to curse. No, we're doing this totally straight up polite because I want this to get spread as much as possible. Might even monetize it. And I think I speak for other people here. But uh, old Cappy is going to be disciplined. And so we're at new Cappy, new Cappy, self control, discipline, not getting angry. But this reminds me of when I was a preacher's kid and I had Christianity forced down my throat. <clears throat> I, as a three year old child, distinctly remember being four, threatened with eternal damnation in hell if I didn't believe in a guy, uh, uh, frankly, a pedophile looking guy with a hippie beard and long hair. Sorry. I don't know well, who's that. I don't care if his name's JC. That's a weird looking dude. I don't want nothing to do with him. Oh, but you should just, you know, you're barely conscious. You just attained sentience maybe a year ago. Now worship this guy. And if you don't, if you don't, you will burn. And then the Wisconsin Synod uh, Church wonders why enrollment is going down. <laughs> So I, I've been trying to ignore all the, the activities in the inner city. I'm just trying to avoid key words like Better Bachelor does because Lord knows what the censors are thinking at the YouTubes and the Googs right now. But I want this to get out here because this is very important. And this actually, even though the title would indicate it's a racially, not racist, but racially uh, related. This is for anybody that has any self-respect. doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what you creed of races, but this is, this is, I think, some that we're all sick and tired of. Much like I was sick and tired of being told I'd burn in hell as a four-year-old kid because Christianity, a religion, and that's what the, what this is, boys and girls, a religion is more important. So I was, I was so happy, so completely happy with my retirement program and my retirement, I'm self-employed, so I got to do an IRA. And so I go, I went with Betterment. I think it was a great idea. Betterment just, it's, it's, it's simple. The interface is simple. The login, you, it's simple. It's not complicated. The user, I mean, it's, it's streamlined. They did a great job. It's a great company. It's a great product. And they don't try to beat the index or anything like that. Like, look, 85% of the dude bro finance guys can't beat the bleeping index. So we're just going to do invest. We're just going to invest in the index for you based on your age. We do this proration. We do all this. It's a great service. And now they went virtue signaling in SJW. And the new cap is going to try to not get angry at John Stein, who's the CEO who wrote that. I could do a Clary test. I don't need to. I don't need to. I'm just going to make an unangry video. I'm merely going to tell people, not just white people, but everybody, are you done with corporations delivering politics? Like, didn't you always, maybe, maybe, you all, maybe it just have to be Gen X or older, but let's say you went to an event and it was secular. It could have been a, a wrestling match or a hockey game, or there was a dance, some, something social. Let us bow our heads in prayer. And you're like, what? Why? Even if you were of Christian faith, like, is that a little impersonal, a little bit impolite? Like, you know, you go to McDonald's, you want to you wanna buy a Big Mac, and may God be with you. It's the same thing with Starbucks. Let's have a conversation about race, where they, they wrote that on the cup. Let's have a con I don't want to have a conversation about race. You know what I want? I want my bleeping cup of coffee. And this is, I don't know if John Stein has nothing else going on in his life. I don't know if being a CEO is not satisfactory enough. Uh, to give one purpose, agency, reason, and meaning, and, and 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 value in life. But now I got an email. I guess if anything, because I've accepted this, I understand none of you have any value but your religion of politics. Oh, we'll make fun of Christianity and Judaism. Some of you new immigrants who may happen to be of Islamic faith, maybe you're like, oh, look at my square parents. ISIS is looking a lot better than what I'm seeing now on my own team. <laughs> and all, and all these old time squares. And, and uh, I'm kind of wondering, uh, maybe, maybe there's some value. Maybe there's some value. But you don't bring politics. You don't bring religion. In. But now you all got a new religion. No, you made fun of all the old religions, but you just replaced it with socialism. 
whatever its variant is, you replaced it with, and now I have John Stein, whoever the heck he is, lecturing me about me being white. John, I hope to find you in a back alley someday. I went, no, I went, I went, because he ain't worth it. I'm going to do something much more effective, okay? And, and for those of you that have a very keen ear, you'll know. It's not about what the political message is. It's the fact that you have companies and corporations giving you a political message. Say it again, Target, I just want some bleeping shoes. McDonald's, I just want a bleeping Big Mac. Starbucks, give me my effing coffee. And shut the heck up. And don't, don't stick your political unit. I know... Some of you have been so easily duped to brainwash into thinking you just can't be, it has to be person plus politics. You don't exist unless you have your politics. Like it has an artist, an artist is a perfect example. Can you just create something beautiful? Have it be non -polit No, it shows the, the thing, the, the challenge and the whatever. The oppression of the people that did it, did it. And it's always leftist, which indicates no indi indi independent creativity or, or sentient thought on any of your minds. You're all sheep. You'll just promote whatever it is that the, the teachers and professors, that, he's a CEO, he's got to be smart. I thought he's smart, but he's not independent-minded. And now I got to ask, why are you lecturing me about racial politics, John? Why? You're to take my money. You're to invest it in a diversified portfolio of index funds. And then you are to shut the F up and go away. Now I have this annoying nag. I didn't marry John Stein. Why is he my wife lecturing me about morals? So here's the email I got for Betterment <clears throat> titled Black Lives Matter. A note from CEO and founder John Stein. Like so many Americans, I'm haunted and angered by the killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmed Abri. Three of the latest of the many lives that have been taken because they were black. No, no, they were probably committing crimes and doing something else. That's that. We don't have to talk. It, it, all right. Maybe, maybe they're, it's not because they were black. It's not. So you're in the wrong place. It could be. It could be. Here's the thing. It's not the color of skin. Maybe you just had a real bad cop. Corrupt cops. Can we go with that? Human error. Uh, these and other recent demonstrations of police violence, racism, inequality in America provide fresh evidence that we are going, we have a long way to go to the road of equality. Oh, thanks, John. Thank you so much. Again, am I against equality? No, I wish everybody make a lot of money, <laughs> a lot of money. Then you pay taxes like, oh, wait, oh, let's get these low taxes on now. I, I also believe in justice and law. I'm against corrupt cops. Absolutely am. Why am I getting a letter from John Stein sermoning me? John, go to F away. Better now, betterment will not stand for the unequal treatment of people of color in our company, our communities, or our country. Oh, no, I'm with you there. Why do I have to hear this? We'll advocate for our black colleagues, friends, and fellow citizens to work harder to build a nation that's just for all, where all can pursue happiness without fear, oppression, or unequal treatment. Well, okay, yeah. Good for you, John. You sound like, like my dad. We are all accountable for the state of our country, and it's our responsibility to acknowledge and address pervasive racism. I'm not, I'm not racist, John. That's where you lost me. Now you're accusing me of racism. F you, I'm not racist. I'm less racist than you. I actually have the courage of bravery to tell disadvantaged groups the truth. But that, that's just you and me. How dare you accuse people of racism? Are you effing nuts? My ask, particularly of those of us who are white and exist at a place of privilege, F you, John. I, me and millions of other white people grew up poor. We didn't have mom and dad hand us. I bet you if we look at John and we do a clear test on John Stein, he he uh, probably came from a little bit more privi uh, privilege than the rest of us. Uh, pay p attention to the significant events going on now. Educate yourself and others. Support, show your support for equality. Take action. Yeah, I'm taking action. I'm, I'm, I'm done being lectured by bleep holes like you about how I'm racist, unconsciously racist when I'm not. 
it's not even this, not even the accusation. It's like, what place does this have? I, I just, here's my money invested in a diversified portfolio of indexed funds. Go F yourself. I don't want to hear your politics. Yeah, really? Don't be racist. Do you? No kidding. Really? Be fair and equitable towards your fellow man. No kidding, huh? Well, here's a foreign con. I've never heard that before. Well, let me guess. You're going to beat this into me that I'll burn in hell if I don't believe in the guy nailed to the cross that has long hair and looks like a pedophile from the 60s. I mean, you might as well jo join the 700 Club, John. Just keep on lecturing the rest of us. Our team has been sharing ideas to support those who are looking to get involved. We've compiled a list of organizations, resources, to support the fight against racial inequality, uh, like capitalism, like the Republican Party. Remember when they fought that civil war to free the slaves? I bet you're not going to donate to that group. A few of which I'm sharing below, and we are encouraging employees to continue to add to that list. Betterment will be matching their donations. For now, these are cash donations. We're looking at whether we might be able to add some of these organizations to Betterment Charitable Giving and make them available to all of our customers. Personally, I have contributed to the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund. Uh, no, the NAACP is not for minorities. They are not. They are a leftist organization that uses skin color to take money away from other people, to get preferential treatment, to play constant victimhood status. I can't say it. There used to be a United Something College Fund. I don't know if we can say that word anymore. I was like, well, yeah, get, get, there you go. Let's get some of the, the people of color into colleges for STEM, not anything else. No. Color of change and equal justice initiative. There's so much work to do. It's time to make real progress. I hope you join us, John Stein, and and it's like that. John, I am not a, I'm no PewDiePie, I'm no big guy, but I think I speak for all the evil white guys. We're sick and tired of being lectured about how we're unconsciously racist or bigoted, or sexist, or homophobic, whatever. You have bad business ethics and acumen lecturing people about politics. You are to take our money invested in indexed funds and then shut the F up. We've all gotten enough sermoning and lecturing starting since we were kids in school about how bad racism and the evil white men. We got it. We've heard it. I had my teachers back in the bleeping third grade play mind games on us. And I, I won't go into the, the story again, but the teacher dragged out all the boys who were really good at basketball, put wigs on them, and they beat, beat our bleeps because they're the best boys. And like, that's how it is to be a girl. We get it. We get it. And, and I understand, John, you're trying to make money through virtue signaling market, marketing because you have no skill. You had a great product, John. You did. Now, now you just put a turd in the punch bowl. But we've we've heard it long enough. And you know what? Go get go get all those people who are student loan indebted who don't have the money anyway to maybe go invest in betterment. Go go get all the guilty white people that are like putting their hands up and um, you know destroying other people's towns. <laughs> Go, go get them, John. Go get them. Not my money. Not my money. Not other people who are falsely accused of racism or sexism or other isms. Not minority people who are sick and tired of the racial politics. Or not any self-respecting person that doesn't want to hear about God, religion, politics, or anything else. You've overstepped your bounds. Your job, John, is to shut up, take people's money, Invest it in allocated indexed funds and then go the F away. And if you're so insecure, if you're so worried, if that's not enough for you, you're doing this great service. Jose's taco joints, he serves tacos. Bob's barber, he cuts people's hair. If that's not good enough. You got to be the person plus politics. Go F yourself. You're not getting my money. Politics, no matter what color or variety. I don't care if it's something I agree with. You could say, let's end the Fed. When do I get an email from one of these corporations? Let's end the Fed. And these times of hyperinflationary environments and tuition being super high to cost of living and rent going up, we need to end the Fed. That's why we're donating to libertarian organizations that would actually free everybody. Where's that? 
Oh no, it's just politically expedient to you. You think this is a marketing gig. Let me guess, John Stein, you really don't care about people. You really don't. This is all, you You erroneously think this is going to help you with your mind. All right, so my little might have no PewDiePie. I'm going to take as many people away from you as I possibly can. At, at minimum, myself. And I'm not going to curse on this video. I'm going to monetize this video. It'll be shared along. Hopefully, I cost you a lot of money. Because you're an evil, disgusting, pathetic, inferior man. You're not a man at all. You really think yourself bigger and grander than you are, and you're an arrogant person on top of it to lecture people, especially in today's time. Did you sniff a profit there, John? Did you smell a profit? Maybe I side with these people. Gun runners to the Nazis were no different. I mean, did, did you make some money on this, John? Do you think you made some? Huh? F you, John. F you. Not getting my money. I'm going to go with Vanguard. All right, now, here's the thing. I got to look up Vanguard. Did Vanguard start talking politics? Did, uh, not standards. Vanguard, what's the other one? Vanguard and, uh, well, there's another main one. Can, can you people just leave people like, what, we don't got enough politics today? We don't get it shoved up our rear ends every bleeping day, starting from five years old, from our indoctrinator teachers to professors to me. Now you get out of here, John. Shut the F up. Take my money invested in index funds. Pay yourself a salary and go home. Spend time with your wife and kids. But no, you can't. All right, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm just going to point this out. Right? If, if you are white or you happen to be an independent-minded non-white, anybody, and you're sick and tired of being lectured about politics, may I point out something? I don't think anybody of any color appreciated it being forced to take all these unnecessary diversity classes and women's studies classes for university. I, did you guys all enjoy that? Did you get to your degree any quicker? No, but you had to shell out how many tens of thousands of dollars for these worthless classes? That's what John is. That's what Betterman is now. This unnecessary thorn in our side when all we want is a Big Mac. All we want is a Diet Coke. All we want is a gallon of gas. We don't need the lecturing or the sermoning, no matter how politically correct the message is. Leave us the F alone. Shut up. The media and the government and the education system will remind us of racial politics and every type of politics forever anyway. We don't need you, John, piling on. Shut up, make your money, raise your family, and be quiet. And if you'd like to donate money on your, please do. Want to set up a nonprofit? Go ahead. Don't you dare lecture me, John. Don't you dare. You priv You want to talk about, I guarantee you, your little pampered a Heine is more pampered than mine ever was. And to come here and accuse me of essentially racism and I got to check my, shut the F up, John. Shut up and go away. And now you don't have, to, now, John, you and I are done. You don't get my money anymore. We're done. I got to go online with Rich Cooper. We got to talk about how not to be lazy. Okay. Good, good episode coming up. Maybe you guys tune in. Uh, but John, you and I are done. You will not get my money, and I'm not going to listen to you anymore. I'm going to block you. There's another thing you didn't think about. All these emails you send out, oh, Bitterman, you know, we we wipe with our left hand today instead of our right. Here's what's happening to Bitterman. You're now blocked. You're spam. Good luck. Good. I know everyone else is going to keep on investing because it's just too inconvenient to log out and do a change and transfer. But – Tomorrow, man, my money is not going to be with you, John. It's not going to be with you. And I hope you people out there who have the slightest bit of self-respect, regardless of race and color, you're sick and tired of being lectured by people about politics. You just want to, you just want to get a shot of whiskey from the bartender. He ain't going to lecture you about religion or anything else. Then get rid of betterment. Demand to be treated like an adult. That's it. Ah. Uh, the super chats real quick. El Duce. 
five bucks. Companies can only make political statements of enormous left wing state. Yeah. Because I, I've talked about that in the book, How Not to Become a Millennial. The highway infrastructure of leftist independent or leftist uh, indoctrinated thought um, has been made. You can read through it in that book. Scott Lukey, two bucks. The only color business you care about is green. Yeah, no, they, they do. They are. Because John is making a very calculated, well, not calculated at all. I think he's, I think he's going to lose money. He thinks this is going to get people to invest in betterment, which should make all of you like who fall for this. Hey, he cares about my type of people. No, he doesn't care about your money. Now, do you want to be lectured and sermoned at by this guy? What will, what will he not do if it doesn't make money? Just pulling that out. All right, that's it. Me and uh, Rich Cooper be on here in a little bit. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.